Whatever the shit that you push and pull like a man, I don't. Oh hi, my name is Jay and for today's video I am going to share my February favorites as well as my book wrap up. Welcome. <laughs> Jumping right into it, I am going to share my fashion favorite, which you saw in the thumbnail probably, and it is my Gone with the Wind bag. Don't know what kind of bag you call these things, but it is like these gigantic ones. I used to use these all the time in middle school. All the time. Middle school, probably early high school too. Um, this was like the thing that everyone, everyone used. And I recently came back to using these because I have been writing a lot and I need space for my notebook, for books, for my laptop. And this is just absolutely perfect. This was on sale in Sudeca for $10 and I have been eyeing this for the longest time because I love Gone with the Wind. It's one of my favorite movies, one of my favorite books. So obviously, I love this thing. And because um, it's like this gigantic pouch thing and I sometimes carry like small stuff with me all the time, I need a, a pouch to put things in. So another favorite of mine is this adorable pouch. It's so cute. It carries all of like my pens, my lip gloss, my lotion, hand sanitizer, every small thing that will probably get lost if I just leave it, you know, in this bag by itself. So I just keep everything in here and it's super pretty. It has the Eiffel Tower on it. Um, it is from the brand Papaya, I believe. That's what it's called, Papaya Art. It is not the stationery store, nor is it from the fashion store called Papaya. Um, it is a mother and daughter company, and I know about this through like a job that I used to have. We used to sell um, this kind of stuff all the time from the same artist, and they're super cool. I love their stuff. Um, their artwork is amazing, and I highly suggest you check them out. You can find their stuff in like small stores around the place, so it just Look around for it, but I'll leave, oh, I'll leave links to everything, links, links to everything in the description bar down below so you can check it out. I can't talk today, sorry. I am very picky when it comes to tea bags because I just want to make sure that it is really, really good. And this is amazing. So these are full leaf teas, but they come in little packets like this so that they are fresh when you take them out. And it comes in like one of those special tea bags. So every taste comes out like just beautiful and flavorful and clear which is something that i really look for when i'm drinking tea the downside to this is that it is super expensive um, i found out about this company when i went to vegas with my friends and we went to the spa and they were giving out like tea bags for free you could just like drink it and i stole some sorry but they were so good um and i found them online and they are so expensive it's ridiculous and then when I went to Vegas another time, um, Samba, I think they're called Samba or Samba Latte. It's this coffee shop in Vegas. They were selling these teas and obviously I bought them. They were still expensive. This box of 12 tea bags is $15, which is just, you know, mind blowing because I usually buy like $4.99 boxes of tea that come with 20 bags. And it's, it's ridiculous, but it's one of those like, Let's indulge moments. I highly suggest checking these out if you find them because they are amazing. <laughs> this thingy, it's a paperweight. Um, I found this at Barnes and Noble, like a different like design, but it's like similar like bubble kind of paperweight. And there's something super cool about these. I don't know, um, but I wanted to buy it, but it was super expensive. And I saw this at Marshall's and it was on sale for $3. So obviously I had to buy it because I'm a Scorpio and it's super cool. I don't know, it's just mesmerite. It's like one of those um, raindrop cake thing that was like sweeping Asia and it was like all over social media and like YouTubers were um, making like, what is it, DIYs for it. So I don't know. It's, it looks like one of those. I don't know. It's just super cool. <laughs> The song that I have been loving the most this month, and I added it to my writing playlist because it is so beautiful, is Old Pine by Ben Howard. So this showed up like on an Apple playlist and I just started playing it because they seemed like folksy singer-songwriter stuff, and I was right, and it is 
beautiful. I love the song. It starts off with like a minute of just full on guitar instrumental stuff and then he starts singing. And it is so beautiful. I could just it could just be the guitar the whole time and I'd be super cool with it because it is amazingly pretty. Like it just calms me down and gets me into the writing mood and it is absolutely lovely. And the second song I've been loving this month is Bruno Mars That's What I Like. That's what I like. I love this song so much! To be perfectly honest, I didn't really like 24K Magic. Is Was that the last song? I didn't enjoy it. I, it wasn't for me. But this song, I heard it. I think he performed it at the Grammys and I was like, yes, this is beautiful. This is amazing. I really wish that it was like the live version instead of like this version because he goes real into it for the live. But this is a lot of fun and I love it so much. <laughs> Moving on to the book wrap up! This has not been a good reading month because of this book right here. Uh, I, whew, this was a tough one to get through. It took me over a month to get through this book which is absolutely ridiculous and uh, it was just too much for me. So this is The White Princess by Philippa Gregory. This is part of a series. I think it is book five. I had no idea that it was part of a series, but from what I've been reading, it just doesn't even matter which book you've read because um, they're all kind of pretty similar. I have read two other books by Philippa Gregory and this one was just not as entertaining. There was just a lot of dull, nothing is happening stuff going on. And it centers on uh, Elizabeth of York who marries Henry Tudor because like he took over the kingdom and he needed to secure his throne. So that's what the whole story is about. But it just becomes too repetitive. King Henry of Tudor is just incredibly annoying and whiny and I can't handle him. And it just, the same things happen over and over again. So it becomes very repetitive and I just wanted more to happen and it was a lot of this is what happened next and this is what happened next. Fast forward a couple months and this is what happened and this is what happened. And it was just super boring. A lot of description, a lot of just nothing is happening in this story. So not a fan. But this book I read in like two days and it's Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. And oh my gosh, yes. I have seen this book cover for a super long time. I read the synopsis and I was like, ooh, I'm gonna read this someday. So I added it to my reading list. And then I never bought the book until I was watching a YouTube video and an advertisement popped up for a movie trailer. And I was like, hmm, I'm not gonna skip this ad. This looks interesting. And it turned out to be the film of everything, everything. And I didn't even know that they were making a film about it. So obviously, I had to read the book before I watched the movie, or before the movie comes out. Comes out May 19th, by the way. It's exciting. This is about a girl named Madeline, or Maddie, and she is allergic to the world. So um, she, she doesn't really know what causes like the reactions. So she's basically a bubble girl. You know the movie Bubble Boy? She's a bubble girl. Um, so she's like stuck in her house pretty much her entire life. She's never gone out. And she just stays with her mom and her like nurse, Carla. And then this family moves in next door and obviously she falls in love with the boy named next door named Ollie. Cool times, fun times. And it's just about her coming to terms with her sickness and just being like, oh, I want to get out and see the world and have the freedom because of Ollie. Because he just opens the world for her and she wants to see everything everything. This is definitely a short read. Uh, I mean, it, it goes by pretty quickly. The drawings here are beautiful and it was all done by her husband, which is so awesome that they worked on this together, which is super cool. It is one of those reads that you just want to keep on reading and reading because you want to know what happens next, but at the same time you want to savor every moment and just take everything in. 
but it's you just want to know what happens next so you keep on going and then you finish it in two days and then you're done and you're like ugh. It's such a beautiful book. I loved it so much. Um, I do wish that there was more in like the last fourth of the book because for the majority of this we kind of spend you know in her house and all that stuff. But um, yeah, it's an interesting read. This is ending predictable, kind of, sort of, but it is sweet and it is romantic and I love it. Alright, so that is it for today's video. If you have read anything, tried any of these products that I mentioned, please let me know in the comment section down below and let me know what were some of your favorites this month. Alright, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time with a brand new video. Goodbye!